the royal family were snapped arriving at Buckingham Palace today for the Queen's Christmas lunch. The annual celebration is a royal tradition and allows the monarch to catch up with extended family members. Prince Harry was accompanied by his glamorous fiancée Meghan Markle as he swept up to the gates. Queen took unusual step of inviting Meghan to join royal Christmas celebrations before the couple wed. Meghan Markle passed her first major test as a member of the royal family yesterday, by pulling a cracker with future father-in-law, Prince Charles, donning a paperhead and reading out a corny joke. Prince Harry's fiancé was a guest at the Queen's annual Christmas lunch at Buckingham Palace, where she was introduced to almost every member of the monarch's extended family. According to an insider, she appeared slightly nervous initially but soon began to dazzle, with relatives queuing up to meet the prince's glamorous bride-to-be for the first time. Fortunately for the U.S.-born actress, who will no doubt attend her inaugural state banquet next year, these lunches are designed to be fun, not formal. Everyone wanted to meet Meghan and welcome her to the family and she didn't disappoint, they told the Mail. She was obviously a bit nervous at first but she soon relaxed with Prince Harry's help as he introduced her to everyone and then she really enjoyed it. Harry was clearly very happy and very proud of her and everyone thought she was delightful. It was your typical Christmas lunch in spite of who was there, turkey, crackers. The lot. The actress has followed in the footsteps of the Duchess of Cambridge, who made the guest list for the first time in 2010, as Prince William's then fiancé, in securing an invitation to the event ahead of her marriage to Prince Harry next May. However, unlike Kate, Meghan will also join her husband-to-be at the Queen's Sandringham estate on December 25th an unprecedented step for someone who is yet to become an official member of the royal family. Now get one like IT the Duchess of Cambridge did not spend Christmas as Sandringham until she and William were man and wife. Although Harry's immediate family has already had the chance to get to know his bride-to-be, Meghan met much of the extended clan for the first time today at the Queen's Christmas get-together. A cherished royal tradition, the lunch at the palace provides the monarch with the opportunity to spend time with those relatives who don't join her at the Sandringham estate in Norfolk on the 25th, as well as close members of the family. And it seems that Meghan's debut, which comes after she wowed crowds when she joined Prince Harry on a public walkabout in Nottingham following their engagement announcement, was a success, with the 36-year-old unable to wipe the smile from her face as she left the palace at around 3.30 p.m.
the actress was pictured smiling and flashing her dazzling engagement ring as her fiancé drove her back to their home at Kensington Palace following the festive lunch. Also at the lunch today were the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children, who will travel to Norfolk for further celebrations, as were Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. For the likes of the Queen's cousin Prince Michael of Kent, or his son Lord Frederick Windsor, today's lunch could well have been their first meeting with their new, and already most famous, family member. Today marked the start of the whirlwind of events that will make up Meghan's first royal Christmas, which will also see her join her soon-to-be-in-laws as they walk to the Christmas Day church service on the Sandringham estate, and being hosted by the monarch for a turkey lunch. On Wednesday Meghan was whisked to the palace by her prince, who drove them to the event in a Land Rover Discovery. The bride-to-be opted for a £300 high neck lace dress from self-portrait for the festive lunch, accessorised with a pair of diamond drop earrings. Among the first to arrive at the palace were the Cambridges, with Prince William driving, pregnant Kate in the passenger seat, and George and Charlotte in the back with their nanny, Maria Borallo. And the nanny is invited too. Kate and William arrive at the palace with trusted aide Maria Borallo, as she takes care of George and Charlotte in the back seat. Maria Borallo has been employed in the royal household since 2014 when the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge first recruited her to look after Prince George. Three years on, the Spanish nanny sat in the back of Prince William and Kate's royal car as they arrived at the palace this afternoon for their seasonal lunch. With Prince George, 4, clearly seen sitting on his booster seat, it's assumed Princess Charlotte, 2, was just out of view in the vehicle's rear. Ms Borallo has been a regular fixture of major royal events and has also travelled abroad with the couple. With a Cambridge brood set to expand in April when Kate gives birth to a third child, the 46-year-old's childcare remit is set to get even bigger. Ms Borallo trained at the prestigious Nordland College which has been producing childminders for the rich and famous since 1892. The institution's students are known for their distinctive uniforms and are schooled in all aspects of looking after youngsters during their three-year degree course. Prince Charles was also in attendance on Wednesday, accompanied by his wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, who looked chic in a forest green jacket. Not far behind was Princess Eugenie, who was snapped in the passenger seat of a car as she made her way to her grandmother's house. The 27-year-old had opted for a festive red dress, which could be seen poking from beneath a navy blue coat. A family affair.
The guest list at the Queen's Christmas Lunch The Queen's annual pre-Christmas lunch is a royal tradition, and gives the monarch an opportunity to catch up with those relatives who don't join her at Sandringham over the festive period. Closer relatives join the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh at her Norfolk estate from Christmas Eve to Boxing Day to enjoy traditional celebrations, including a bracing walk to church on December 25th and a turkey lunch. For those spending the big day with their own immediate families, the annual lunch at Buckingham Palace is the perfect opportunity and often the only opportunity in the calendar, to spend time with all of their relatives at once. The family enjoy a three-course lunch in the Buckingham Palace dining rooms before heading home in the late afternoon. This year's guest list included the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge with Princess Charlotte and Prince George. Prince Harry and fiancé Meghan Markle the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall the Princesses of York, Beatrice and Eugenie. Sophie the Countess of Wessex and Lady Louise Windsor George Windsor, Earl of St Andrews, Sylvana Tomaselli and daughters Lady Amelia and Marina Windsor. The Duke and Duchess of Kent Princess Anne and Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence Peter and Autumn Phillips with daughters Savannah and Isla. Lord Frederick Windsor, Freddie and Maud Windsor Prince and Princess Michael of Kent with Lady Gabriella Windsor. The Duke and Duchess of Gloucester with grandson Rufus Gilman Princess Alexandra Lord Nicholas Windsor, Lady Paula, Albert and Louis Windsor. Viscountess Serena Lindley, Charles and Margarita Armstrong Jones Lady Sarah and Daniel Chado. Lady Helen Taylor, Timothy, Estella, Cassius, Eloise and Columbus Taylor Autumn Phillips, the wife of Peter Phillips seen at the wheel of the vehicle as one of today's earliest arrivals. Eagle-eyed royal fans may have been able to spot her daughter Isla Phillips, who appeared to be in an excitable mood at the head of Christmas. Unusually Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, husband of Princess Anne, chose to walk to the event doing away with cars like his fellow royals. Members of the extended family in attendance included the Queen's cousin Prince Michael of Kent who arrived with his daughter Lady Gabriella Windsor and his wife Princess Michael, who looked typically glamorous. It seems there were plenty of youngsters to keep Charlotte and George company on Wednesday with Lord Frederick Windsor arriving with his two children Freddie and Maud who attends the same Battersea school as George. It seems that Meghan is being well and truly welcomed into the royal family after it was confirmed that she will join them for celebrations in Sandringham over Christmas. He just strolled right in. Princess Anne's husband Sir Timothy Lawrence greets well-wishers as he walks into Buckingham Palace, and he's done it before.
Princess Anne's husband Timothy Lawrence opted for the low-key approach as he arrived for the Queen's Christmas lunch this afternoon. Eschewing a royal car, the 62-year-old Vice Admiral opted to use his own two feet to attend the lavish festive affair. Dressed for the inclement weather in a green tweed overcoat, Lawrence also donned a sharp suit with crisp white shirt and an eye-catching pillar box red tie. As he strode past hundreds of tourists, only a few seemed to realize there was a royal in the midst and reached for their smartphones to capture a picture. Obviously not a fan of London traffic, the retired British naval officer Mr Lawrence has taken the on-foot option before when attending the Queen's annual Christmas event. The star, 36, will spend the festive period at Her Majesty's private estate in Norfolk even though Kate Middleton was only asked after she walked down the aisle with Prince William in 2011. The Queen's invitation to the US-born actress is further evidence of the royal family's warm welcome for her ahead of the couple's May wedding at Windsor Castle. Meghan, who will take British citizenship and get baptised by the Church of England before the wedding, will also attend the Christmas Day service at St Mary Magdalene Church, Sandringham. She and Harry, 33, who are now living together in a two-bed cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace, will also take part in the traditional walk to Mass by the entire royal family. Confirming the news today a Kensington Palace spokesman said, you can expect to see the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and Ms Markle at Sandringham on Christmas Day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.